Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to once again be discussing Hogwarts Headmaster Albus Dumbledore. More specifically, we're going to be honing in on one particular aspect of his character, his name, and unpacking its meaning. Witness for the defense, Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. Straight from the man himself, this is Dumbledore's full name, and we're first exposed to it during Harry's disciplinary hearing that takes place before the wizard gamut. Apart from this scene, Dumbledore's entire name isn't really touched on again, and it made me wonder, where do these names come from? Two middle names is uncommon enough, I have two, but three? There must be a reason for that. Today, I'm going to be unpacking each and every one of Albus Dumbledore's names, starting with Albus. Dumbledore's first name, Albus, is actually the Latin word for white, which bears a positive connotation, being a symbol for things that are good. This works well in contrast with Voldemort, who is commonly referred to as the Dark Lord, yin and yang. While the Latin root is most likely the primary motivation for his first name, it's also possible, and some fans are convinced of this, that he was named Albus in order to honor the character of Gandalf, or more specifically, Gandalf the White from Lord of the Rings. This, however, would not be a suitable in-universe explanation as it breaks the fourth wall. Percival First and foremost, it should be mentioned that Percival is the name of Albus Dumbledore's father, and it's certainly not uncommon for children to be named after their parents. We also know that his father Percival was imprisoned in Azkaban while Albus was still very young. The name Percival is an old French name which means pierce the veil, and stems from the old French words meaning pierce and valley. Percival was also one of the esteemed knights of King Arthur, and notably the only one that Arthur allowed to see the Holy Grail. The oldest recorded reference to Percival in this particular tale comes from Chrétien de Troyes' 12th century romance, Comte du Graal, Wolfric. There is less of an identifiable relationship between Albus and the name Wolfric, but if we look at its historical context, there are a few ways that it makes sense. Wolfric is an Anglo-Saxon name, comprised of two components, Wolf, Wolf, and Rick, Rich, Powerful. It is widely identified simply as Wolf Power, and the name likely alludes to the power the Dumbledore's figure exhibits. It's also possible that Wolfric is an homage to Wolfric of Hazelbury, a 10th century anchorite and miracle worker from Somerset, England. Fun fact, I was born in Somerset. Wolfric is said to have received the gifts of prophecy and healing, and was involved in many miraculous happenings. He became known as a healer of body, mind, and spirit for all those who sought him out. Brian Brian, which at first glance may not appear to exude the same sort of etymological grandiosity as some of his other names, actually has a lot more depth to it than you think. You see, Brian is a male given name of Celtic origin that means high or noble. Some sources even report that the name Brian is synonymous with strength. So while it may not sound like much when matched up against Wolfric or Percival, the name is still very much fitting of the strong Hogwarts headmaster. Because of the name's commonality, it also provides a sort of eccentric and comical edge which is befitting of his character. Dumbledore Since Harry Potter first came out, the name Dumbledore has been plastered everywhere. It's on hundreds of millions of pages and products across the world, and as a name, it has become entirely synonymous with Harry Potter. However, what a lot of you may not know is that Dumbledore is actually the old Devon word for bumblebee. When JK Rowling was choosing a name for Dumbledore's character, she liked to imagine him humming to himself a lot, which is why she drew inspiration from the bee. And that pretty much sums up the etymology behind all of the names of Hogwarts' most famous headmaster. Though of course, just because we've covered his names, it certainly doesn't mean we've covered his titles, which officially include Order of Merlin First Class, Headmaster of Hogwarts, Supreme Mugwump, and Chief Warlock of the Wizard Gamut and unofficially include the Champion of Commoners and the Greatest Sorcerer of Modern Times. No, Dumbledore certainly isn't short of names. And that's it for this video. Did you learn something new about Dumbledore? As always, leave your video suggestions down below. Until next time, remember, 
Time will not slow down when something unpleasant lies ahead.